Hello everyone. In this video, I am explaining Python implementation of principal component analysis, which is used for dimensionality reduction. Here, the problem statement says that you have to reduce the dimensions of this given data set using PCA. So, in this example, there are 10 samples and 2 features. So, I will reduce these 2 features or dimensions to 1. So let's see step by step how this can be done in python first of all just import the libraries here numpy is imported to do array operations and as an array this data set is read in variable x and this is how my x looks like the shape of this array is 10 rows and 2 columns as you can see now if I try to plot this array. I can use matplotlib library and using scatter plot between the two variables x1 and x2, the plot will look like this. So, that was about simple importing of the data set. Now, let's apply PCA for which these are the five steps which I have already explained in the previous videos. The very first step is to standardize the data and to standardize the data we need to calculate mean first for this mean function is used which is coming out to be 1.81 and 1.91 then standard deviation is computed using std function of numpy along the column axis and here degree of freedom is set as 1 because here we are considering the sample standard deviation so this sigma is coming out to be 0 0.785 and 0 0.846 now the standardized data as per the formula is x minus x bar upon sigma and this is how my standard data will look like and if you plot this data the variation of the data is same only the axis points have been changed mean of this data is 0 and the standard deviation of this data should be 1. Now the next step is to compute the covariance matrix. Here from numpy direct cov function is used and is applied over x and row where is set equal to false because the data is carrying the features along column axis. So that is why it is set to false otherwise by default it is true. So my covariance matrix now will be of size 2 by 2 because I have two dimensions. Now next step is to calculate the eigenvectors and eigenvalues. For this we have used this function and applied over covariance matrix and we have got eigenvalues as 0 0.04 and 1.284 and corresponding to these two eigenvalues these are my two eigenvectors column wise now the next step is to sort the eigenvalues in descending order and compute the principal components after sorting these values i can get the index of the sorted eigenvalues as 1 0 because this first eigenvalue is larger as compared to the 0th eigenvalue so it is showing the indexes in the descending order so after getting this sorted eigenvector I am getting the first column as my first principal component corresponding to the highest eigenvalue and the second column is carrying the second principal component. I am just evaluating how much variance is carried by the first eigenvalue which is the highest one that means corresponding to first principal component the variance is 96.3 percent. 96 percent information is retained when I use only the first principal component so let's 
decide the number of components to one and corresponding to these number of components the one the first principal component which is the first column now final task is to reduce the dimensions of the data set wherein i am going to transform my data set to the new dimensions using simple multiplication matrix multiplication operation so the given data set x is multiplied by this eigen vector subset which was obtained earlier and i will get my transformed or reduced matrix as 10 rows and one column so we can say that the two dimension data set is reduced to one dimensional data set now we can verify and reconstruct the original data you can multiply this transformed data set with the transpose of the eigen vector subset and you can see your y is coming out to be this whereas the original data set was this one the first sample was carrying 2.5 and 2.4 in x1 x2 whereas my reconstructed data is carrying 2.3 and 2.5 so you can see very small amount of information is lost and so this we can say that using pca we can reduce the dimensions of the data set by considering only the first few principal components only